Reach review time with Imperial, and today's review will be Yellow Jacket Season 2, Episode 1. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, let's get into it. Now, Season 1 of Yellow Jackets, and this is uh, started, it's on Showtime. I binged the whole first season, and then I summarized it. So, whenever I do a summary of a whole season of episodes, it doesn't do any justice because it's it got to be broken down episode by episode so you get more clarity of what's going on and it's a lot of twists and turns in yellow jackets because it's going from future and past from what happened in um their plane from their plane crash when they were stuck on um in that area in the island or whatever and what's happening in the future so it's a lot of back and forth which could be confusing so i even forgot a lot of things when I was looking at this season two first episode. So, in a nutshell, the girls that survived, they went through some trauma and some things, and it started to catch up with them in their um, adulthood. So, how last season um, left off, you had Natalie was kidnapped out of her motel. You find out this episode um, who she was kidnapped by. You also, Jackie and Shauna was best friends. Of course, Shauna um, was, had sex with Jackie's boyfriend, Jeff. And you find out that, and they kind of like alienated Jackie and Jackie went out in the cold and slept outside in the cold and ended up freezing to death. And that's pretty much how the last episode ended. Probably was some more things, but that was like the major things. Oh yeah, and then um, Taisa, her mate Simone found in the basement. She had a hidden room in the basement where she had the, de the dead dog's head and uh, a doll of the little boy. So she had some real psycho demonic stuff going on in the basement in that secret room now the little boy sammy the son uh knows that taisa has a split personality and when she went to conf um to uh speak to sammy sammy did um comfort him he told her, you're the good one. So he knows there's two sides of her. One is the bad type, so one is the good one, bad one. And of course we seen last season where she ate the dirt, running around looking crazy and stuff. So um, let's get into this episode. So in this episode, you got the aftermath. Oh yeah, Shauna, the dark version, was having an affair with Jeff. Shauna is like nonchalant, spooky at the same time. She was having an affair with Adam and her daughter Carter having an affair. She ended up telling Adam about the affair. She went to um, confront Adam that they got to break things off and thought that Adam was like part of a storting her husband or whatever. And Shauna ended up killing Adam, bought her girls to get involved and they got rid of the body that's also what happened in last season so in this season it starts off with shauna being coached by misty now of course we know misty is conspiracy theory she's weirded out she misty will poison people and you know she comes off like she's you know could be this nice innocent person but uh, mischievous at the same time so we've seen what she did with that reporter poison that reporter in season one so misty is coaching shauna in the event that she gets picked up by the cops don't do no talking act for your lawyer and so um Taisa and natalie was supposed to show up to this meeting as well but they didn't now Taisa did win becoming i think she became the mayor of the town and so um natalie was kidnapped so misty is now whole episode 
trying to figure out what happened to Natalie. So she goes back to the motel saying they were supposed to be friends. She wouldn't have left like that. Asked the, um, the front desk attendant, hey, you know, give me information on a friend. The attendant refused to. She ran down, just to show you how creepy Misty is, she ran down all his social security number, information, where he lived at, all that. And he still didn't budge. So he ended up telling her she just left and was paid paid her way and left so misty went to the room of course she seen that it was new um bolts put on the uh, room door and she seen some wood on the floor which leads her to believe okay somebody kicked this door in so that was misty's part in the whole episode so you had shauna um her daughter kelly is home with the boyfriend kyle and you can see shauna i mean her daughter kelly just treating Kyle any type of way. Meanwhile, Kelly is upset with her mom. Of course, she caught her mom having an affair. Shauna told her, well, we told your dad. I told you, um, your dad. And she's pretty much like, well, why would you do that? You hurt no. We're gonna pr pretty much move on. We've been through a lot, so we're gonna move on even though he knows that I had an affair. Kelly is not on board with that. So Shauna calls Jeff up. Hey, he's in good spirits. Um, he knows that Adam was killed. He's selling um, furniture. But Shauna tells him, hey, I still got, he had an art studio. So Jeff like, you know where it is. And so when they go to the art studio, they want to get rid of all the pictures that he was making of Shauna. So that's what they did in a process of that Shauna's real weirded out accents Jeff like what are you feeling right now I always thought that you uh um I dreaded that you might be out here messing with other women but it kind of turned me on too just to you know smell their scent on you and know that they were having sex with you so she was real weirded out meanwhile that turned Jeff on too so he ended up knocking her down right there in the art studio where Adam was killed at after they destroyed <clears throat> his paintings. So from there, they grab uh, her journals, um, they grab Adam's license, and they put it in the um, grill in the backyard and set it on fire. You later find out that everything turned to ash except a piece of the license where the daughter, Callie, went and digged in the ashes and found a piece of the license. So, okay, so you go on here, you have one of those um, rebellious uh, teens who's up to um, mischievous behavior to add more problems. You had uh, Thaisa went and go, got a new dog, and she showed up to the school. Now, she had a split personality. So the one side of her doesn't know what the other side is doing. So the quote unquote good side goes and get a new dog and then shows up to Sammy's school to pick him up. The wife Simone shows up, basically confronting her, say you need to get help. And if you don't, I'm gonna go public about you, uh, your behavior. And Taisa's basically like, what are you talking about? And she's like, I seen that room and uh, she snatched um, Sammy away. And by the end of the episode, after she got the new dog, she went inside the room that Simone was talking about. And then she just grabbed the new little dog and said, I'm going to do better. I'm going to do better than what I've been doing. It gets to Natalie. And you find out uh, Natalie was kidnapped. And you find out why she was kidnapped. First, she was strapped to a bed and there's a um an associate comes in to feed her and natty pretty much said you can leave one hand so i can eat the associate was kind of gullible and so by the time the associate came back natty natalie stabbed her with a fork got free and made her way out by the end traveling through the forest she seen a cult with mask on gary barry somebody alive and she sees Lottie um, 
running a spiritual cult. So in the early in the episode, it does show Lottie where she had um, Natalie and Travis while she was putting that thing in the um, the tree trunk when they was over in that other island and. Lottie, when she came back, when they was rescued and she came back, they took her and said she wasn't responding. They put psych treatment to her by frying her brain, and then she got better. But it didn't show an adult version of Lottie that's running a retreat, spiritual retreat. You find out that it's a cult that's who um, kidnapped Natalie, and when uh, Natalie pretty much approached her, said, "Why well, won't?" Tell me why I shouldn't bash your head in. And Lottie said, I got a message from Travis. So that's pretty much the episode. Only other thing that it might have showed is show Thaisa and the behavior that she had with her um with Vanessa when they was over in the island when she was younger and it showed that she had the split personality then where it was moments where she became something else like psycho in a sense and um showed that also showed the weirdness of shauna talking to when um jackie's dead corpse they had it sitting in another area and shauna was just in there conversating with her and um, so that showed the weirdness of that other than that that was the episode so this there's a lot of twists and turns when it comes to yellow jackets that you gotta follow and keep up with or you'll get lost but overall a decent episode to go into um season two episode one subscribe to the channel like the video till next time